While doing a review of The Running Man for the Amiga, I came upon what may be the stupidest fucking moment in a video game ever. And if it's not the stupidest fucking moment in a video game, it's gotta be at least in the top five. Now I was going to incorporate this into the actual review, but there were so many screw-ups and so many problems that it would have added at least another five to ten minutes to the video. So I thought, you know what, this is so fucking bad that it deserves its own video. It's really that fucking horrendous. So let's get into it. The stupidest fucking moment in a video game ever. The Running Man for the Amiga. Ta-da! Here it is, folks. The stupidest moment in a video game ever. It comes in the very first level of The Running Man, not even five minutes into it. You kick a dog, which of course engenders my sympathy, and then you get past this small part and come to this jump. This jump right here is the worst fucking moment in a video game ever. Doesn't look that bad to you? Well just wait, it gets a hell of a lot fucking worse. This is one of these annoying jumps where your timing and your spacing have to be perfect. Period. If you are off so much as a millimeter, you are fucked. Now in a good game with tight controls, this would be bad enough. But you put it in a game like The Running Man where the controls are like fucking cement and you have the recipe for a fucking nightmare. When I first got to this jump, I screwed up a couple of times and I thought, okay, it's likely my fault, I'm just not used to these shitty controls yet. Like this part here, I ran too fast and I fell off the edge before I can jump. Fine. Or this part here where I jumped too soon and fell into the second pit. So I figure, okay, I'll inch my way carefully to the edge of the first platform, then jump onto the second one, inch my way to that edge, and then jump again and I'll make it. WRONG! TRY AGAIN, ASSHOLE! Look at this shit. Look at it. My foot is inches away from touching the platform. Inches. Then all of a sudden, I just slip and fall into the pit. You would think the momentum of my jump would be enough to propel me to the other side, but oh no, I just slip off. To be fair, the platforms are ice, so you could make an argument that, well, you slipped, so it was your fault. But if you look closely at the footage, you'll see that it's not the ice that actually makes me slip. It's as if I hit an invisible fucking wall and get knocked back into the pit. So it's not the ice that's the culprit, it's really bad programming. Despite that, I figure, okay, if I'm really, really careful, I think I can make it across. And one of the few saving graces of this part, if you can call it that, is that when you fall into a pit, you don't immediately die. You just go back to the beginning and lose a little health. By this point, though, I'm starting to get really pissed, and I'm about ready to quit. But I think, okay, persevere, just go really carefully, and you should be alright. So back to the jump. And then this really surreal shit starts happening. I get to the edge of the second platform, then turn around to go back and give myself a little running space. And then this happens! I literally float off the platform for a split second and then I fall into the pit. What in the name of holy fucking hell is going on here? What the fuck is this? The leap of faith test from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade? I literally just, I just, I just fucking float out into the air! How in the fucking hell could these programmers let this shit slide? Alright, deep breath. <sighs> Try it again. And again this shit happens, only this time I'm not touching anything, so I literally just float in space over the pit. Like it's a fucking Looney Tunes cartoon. I don't touch anything for a little bit, but the moment I press left to get back on the platform, POOF! I fall into the pit again! If I had the sense that God gave gerbils, I would say fuck this shit, I'm not playing this glitched piece of junk anymore. But oh no, curious stupid me, I gotta keep at it. From that point, I don't know how many more times I tried this jump. 20, 30, 50, 100, Christ, after like fucking 30 times I lost count. And every single time, fail, fail, fail. In most good games, they try to ease you into the challenge, but not this one, oh no. It presents an impossible fucking jump not even five minutes into it. No matter what I fucking do, I fail. I crawl to the left edge of the second platform to try to get some running space, and I fall off. I try to run, jump quickly onto the second platform and keep running and then jump to the third and I still fall into the pit. Have you ever in your life seen such a pissy jump as this one? If they took out the second platform and just had you do a running jump to the right side, it would be so much easier. But oh no, it's as if they're tormenting the player saying, Haha, you have to jump onto the second platform, asshole. Then I try to crawl to the left edge again and it's as if an invisible hand pushes me off the platform and into space and I'm just fucking crouching in open space, not falling or anything. And then when I stand up, I'm fine until I try to move left or right. Then I fall into the pit again! Or there's this lovely part where I crawl out into open space for a split second, then fall into the pit. Or this wonderful bit right here where Arnie floats in space for a split second, then gets caught in an invisible earthquake and falls into the pit. I just love the posture that Arnie has as he's falling backwards with his hand thrown out like he has a case of the vapors or he's bidding someone adieu. 
Farewell! Ah! I have a theory. I'm not sure if this is correct or not, but here's what I think. I think that they wasted so much of this game's memory on the foregrounds and backgrounds and making them look all nice and the digitized opening that by the time they got to the collision detection aspect of the game, they had almost no memory left. So they probably went to a huddle and one of the guys said, Oh shit, we don't have enough memory for good collision detection. And one of the other guys said, Oh, who gives a fuck? We got Arnie's face on the cover. People will buy anything just as long as it looks nice. And everybody nodded and said, Okay, that's good. So they half-assed their way through this part of the programming and thus were left with a big pile of fucking shit. So after hours and hours and hours of failing, I finally figured out what you have to do to beat this jump. You're gonna love this. You have to use the game's fucked up physics to get you across. Once you get onto the second platform, you have to run out into open space for a split second and jump off open space to get to the other side successfully. In other words, you have to ignore the laws of physics and your own common sense to beat this jump. Yeah, that's real great fucking programming. Hallelujah! I finally made it after what, 500 fucking attempts? And that's not the biggest kicker of all. You want to know what is? This is the only jump with a pit in the entire fucking game. There are other jumps in the game, but none of them are over a bottomless pit. So my question is, WHY FUCKING PUT IT THERE IN THE FIRST PLACE?! What, were they trying to be fucking cute or something? THESE GODDAMN FUCKING SHIT LICKING COCKSUCKERS! Alright, calm down. It's not like they hammered a flagpole up my ass and hoisted me into the air. It's like Jesus said, turn the other cheek. Of course, if Jesus played this game, I think he'd say, fuck that turning the cheek shit, I'm gonna piss all over this fucker. Oh, and here's one last little kick in the nuts for you. You want to know what company published this game? Grand Slam Entertainments. Grand Slam Entertainments? Are you fucking kidding me? This game doesn't even qualify as a fucking bunt. Maybe they should have retitled this company Strikeout Entertainments. Or better yet, Shutout Entertainments. At least that would have been accurate advertising. So in conclusion, I must have been off my fucking rocker to keep on playing this game after that fucking jump. But hey, you know me, I'm a glutton for punishment, so I'll have the rest of this review out just as soon as I get done banging my fucking head into a brick wall. This is Film and Stuff signing off. Thanks for watching. This game doesn't even qualify as a fucking bunt!